In May 1917 in the Fatima city in Portugal, while three children, seven, nine and ten years old, were grazing sheep, met with the Blessed Virgin Mary. She promised the children that she would visit them again, on the 13th day of the next six months to tell them a great secret, and then she disappeared. The children told their parents about the incident and described the woman as brighter than the sun. The people of the village gradually became fascinated by the story, and more and more people were visiting the area every day to see the meeting place. Until the last meeting, which took place on October 13, 70,000 people went to this place to witness the event themselves. During the meeting, Virgin Miriam told the children that she would soon take Francisco and Jacinta to heaven, but that Lucia would have a long life to spread the message. Although the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared only to the children and others did not see her, but according to eyewitnesses, it was raining heavily that day. But suddenly the clouds parted, and the sun appeared like a spinning disk among the clouds, with colored rays of light. Witnesses reported that their clothes were wet from the rain, but suddenly and completely dried up, and the muddy ground dried up completely. But a few months later, Francisco died at the age of 10 at his home, and Jacinta died at the age of 9, at the Queen Stephanie's Hospital in Lisbon. Lucia says she and her cousins tied tight bandages around their waists, whipped themselves with hard nettles, fed their food to the beggars, and refrained from drinking water on hot days. Lucia's manuscript states that the Blessed Virgin Mary said that God was pleased with their sacrifices and corporal punishment. 24 years later, Lucia Santos became a nun and lived in Spain. She concluded that the world was ready to hear the first and second secrets, but the third secret which was the most horrific prophecy, remained hidden for another 60 years. In the first mystery, Lucia writes, Our Lady showed us a large sea of fire that seemed to be underground. According to him, the war will end soon, but if the people continue to anger God, a more severe war will break out during the reign of Pope Pius XI. World War I ended a few months later, but Pope Pius XI did not exist at the time. Thus the first mystery of the Blessed Virgin Mary came true. But Lucia tells the second secret. In the second secret which follows the first secret, she says, when you see a night lit by an unknown light, know that this is a clear sign from God to you, because he intends to punish your world because of your crimes. She also said, that the Blessed Virgin Mary warned that an evil current was beginning in Russia, that would spread to the rest of the world, if Russia was not sanctified, and that many people would perish. It is interesting to note that shortly after the meeting of the three children with the Holy Mary, the communist dictatorship ruled over the Soviet Union, and churches and religious leaders were destroyed to the extent, that people thought Lenin was the same as the Antichrist. But despite this clear message, humans were not guided to the right path. Because on January 25, 1938, the night sky across Europe was illuminated by mysterious light. Just a few weeks after seeing the light in the night sky, World War II began with Hitler's invasion of Austria, and it took place exactly at the time of Pope Pius XI. A war that engulfed the whole world. And so the second secret came true. But in 1943, Lucia became seriously ill with the flu, so she wrote the third secret, which she had never told anyone before. She sealed it and demanded that it not be opened until 1960. People who knew that the first and second secrets had come true were waiting for 1960. But in 1960, after reading the letter, Pope John XXIII announced that it was not yet time to reveal the secret. So he stamped the letter again and handed it over to the Vatican secret archive. Until the Vatican announced in 2000, 
that the time had come for the third secret to be revealed. The third secret contained two parts that told of two great secrets, the letter states that. To our lady's left, we saw an angel holding a flaming sword in his left hand. The angel creates flames with a sword that seemed to set the world on fire. But the flames were extinguished in contact with the splendor that shone on our lady from her right. The second part states that, in the second part of the third secret, it is stated that, the Holy Father passed through a big city half in ruins and half trembling with halting step, afflicted with pain and sorrow, he prayed for the souls of the corpses he met on his way, having reached the top of the mountain, on his knees at the foot of the big cross he was killed by a group of soldiers, who fired bullets and arrows at him, and in the same way there died one after another the other bishops, priests, men and women religious, and various lay people of different ranks and positions. The commentator stated, that the meaning of the first part of the letter was, that humanity was on the verge of destruction by a nuclear war, but that the Blessed Virgin Mary had saved humanity from this nuclear war. But the second part of the third mystery seems to be related to the events of May 13, 1981. Thousands of people were waiting in St. Peter's Square, for a speech by Pope John Paul II when a shooting broke out, and a gunman tried to assassinate the Pope. Although severely injured, he survived. The third secret was about the Pope. The Pope said, according to this prophecy, I should die, but the Blessed Virgin Mary saved me. It was at this time that the Pope came to the conclusion that the time had come for Russia to be blessed. The Pope invited all the bishops to attend the ceremony. On March 25, 1984, Russia was finally blessed and sanctified. Earlier, Lucia had said that amazing things would happen after the blessing. And it seems to be so. Gorbachev came to power in Russia and formed modern Russia. As you can see, the third secret has been researched and everyone believes it. But is it really realized? On May 11, 2010, Pope Benedict XVI while flying to Fatima, said in response to a question about the third secret, we would be wrong to think that the third secret has been fully realized. But many critics, such as Italian journalist Antonio Sushi, claim that the four-page handwritten text of the third secret, published by the Vatican in 2000 is not a real secret. The arguments are as follows. The original letter was written on only one piece of paper, while the letter published by the Vatican is four pages. Another reason is the interview published in the November 11, 1984 issue of Jesus magazine. In this interview, Cardinal Ratinger was asked, if he had read the text of the third secret, why it has not yet been revealed. Ratzinger acknowledged that he had read the third mystery, and in part stated that the third mystery included Satan's influence on the churches, and the dangers threatening the Christian faith and life, and consequently the world. Look at these pictures. In 2011, a similar claim was made like the Fatima incident in Africa. It was claimed that Virgin Mary appeared before the people. The video link of this incident is in the description section. There are many claims that this incident is real or fake. But what is the truth? If you like this video, hit the subscribe button to receive more videos.